Hey guys, Lindsay here over at the North American Guitar, here with the one and only Carl Miner, and That's we are fun. going to tackle some of the frequently asked questions that we see over on YouTube. It's been a popular request for a video like this for a while, so we're going to launch into it right now. Sure. This may so, be the first time these people have heard my voice That's true. speaking rather than speaking through my fingers. That's true, yeah. <laughs> you get to actually hear Carl as you are as a, just a, just a guy. Right. Totally. <laughs> So probably the first and or the most one of the most common questions we see is what is the name of that tune and where can I find the tab for it? So let's yeah. put this question to rest right now. Is <sighs> any of the music pre-written that you come in to play on these guitars? No. Yeah. We have to put definitely have to put that one to rest. I get that question a lot. The songs that I play are are composed, so to speak, or improvised on the spot. When you guys hand me a guitar, I try to play a few chords and see what feels natural on it. And, uh, and then I come up with something. I will say, in the future though, we definitely want to release more of these songs and probably suss them out and get the ideas kind of solidified and give them names. So for the time being, you guys can name them whatever you want. <laughs> and if you tab them out, send them to me. <laughs> yeah, so anytime anybody comments like, oh, I think I know that song, they don't. It's just you're sort of just pulling from the ether. Well, there's a chance I could be totally <laughs> ripping it off from somebody because there's not a new idea left out there that I know of. So. That's true. But I try not to. I try to make them as original <laughs> as I can. Yeah. Well, another comment that we see a lot is, what do you think of any particular guitar? At this point, you've played hundreds of guitars for us, so we're, we can't cover all of them. But are there a few that maybe are recent favorites you might want to talk about? That's a tough one. There are so many really good ones. I love the stuff that Collings makes a lot. Um, I think that we don't get to see a lot of them here, but the Julian Lodge edition Collings yeah. guitars are one of my favorite that I get to play once in a while. Um, you know, I love old Gibsons and old vintage Martins. I tend to kind of be attracted to woodier, drier, darker sounding instruments. Um, I think those probably inspire me more than anything when I get old guitars like that in my hands. Nice. Mm. Yeah, so sort of on a related note, uh, what do you look for in a guitar beyond, I guess, just the dry, woody, old stuff? Yeah, you know, I, for a long time, have bought guitars largely based upon what I need professionally when I'm like recording for other artists. There's always something that I feel like I need, and I'll, I'll tend to shop for what what that need is, mm -hmm. you know, if I need something that's brighter or maybe the, the current trend in guitar sounds is something, I'll shop for that. But for my own personal playing and writing, I, I tend to like things that are pretty neutral, you know, mm -hmm. not too bright and that play really well. That's just, that's kind of my, my two things. They, they can't be too bright mm -hmm. um, or too like specific sounding for me to write on and they have to feel good. Yeah, I mean, that, that sounds sense. generic, but. There are too many options to list off, but what are sort yeah. of your go-to guitars for the studio and for on stage? I don't get to play on stage a lot. In the studio, I'm generally going to a Gibson J45. It's cool. a Gibson J45 vintage, so it's a relatively new torified guitar. I use mm. that probably 90% of the time. Okay. Um, it's that. There's also a, a Callings D1A that I play a lot, it's sort of the, the Martin D18 thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have a Waterloo, a all mahogany Waterloo that I use a bunch. Those three are the main ones. I use a lot of other guitars. In, in a studio situation, I'll probably bring anywhere from 10 to 12 guitars oh, with wow. instruments rather, mm -hmm. they're mandolins, banjos, bazookis, whatever. Cool, awesome. Yeah. Well, who are some of your biggest influences? Boy, when I started off, Chet Atkins was my guy. Mm -hmm. I listened to him a ton, uh, which led into Tommy Manuel, my obsession with Tommy. But I think as I got older, melody became really important to me. So I gravitated towards singer-songwriters who had good melodies. Um, and in pop music, there's a lot of great melody writing. I, this is going to sound like a joke. Don't judge me for this. Any of you, including you guys, <laughs> no judgment. I listen to a lot of Celine Dion and like 90s R&B stuff because some of the writing back then was really, really great. Yeah. And the arranging, the, the musicianship and all of that. Awesome. Um, but yeah, that's, it, it, it is all over the map what I listen to. Just as long as it's somebody with a lot of skill in what they do, I'm happy to dig into it. Awesome. 
Well, last but not least, mm -hmm. for folks who want to support you and your music, um, do you have anything online that they can either purchase or stream? I have one song on Spotify. Uh, it's been on there for a while, but in the future, there's definitely going to be a lot more released. In fact, we've talked about doing a North American guitar sessions, so to speak, mm -hmm. of some of the favorite songs that people like that we've done on these videos. So we'll probably be putting out a recording of that soon, mm -hmm. maybe 10 or 12 songs, and maybe even the tabs. We'll see oh. if I have the energy to sit down and write all that out, or you do, whoever. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll pay you. <laughs> but uh, that something probably sooner than later we're going to release. Um, and then more releases from me to stream after that. Cool. Mm. Well, consider that the teaser for mm. the future Carl Teenag sessions recording. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. I I we all it. really appreciate it, and I'm sure all of the fans on YouTube will appreciate it of too. Of course, so. definitely. We'll leave comments and uh, ask any more questions. Yeah. You know. <laughs> what pick do you use? Oh, what pick do I use? Yes, thank you. Kevin, our sound guy over there yelling. I use a Dunlop uh, Tortex Flex. One point, hold on, let me see if I have one in my pocket here. No, I don't. It's a 1.16, is that what it is? I think so, from it's, what I remember oh, here, seeing. Oh. Look at this, right here on the floor there's one. It's a, a Tortex Flex 1.14. It's the wide triangle, I guess that's a, is that a triangle? Yeah, Whatever they call triangle. that? Triangle shape. Uh, that's my primary guitar pick. Other than that, it's uh, usually going to be something much, much thinner if I'm playing rhythm or something like that, like a, a regular super thin Fender kind of thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. So there, there you, you guys go. All the Carl secrets. Absolutely.